qualitative approach when you use it. In exploratory survey, exploratory survey. Yes, exploratory survey. What else? To collect, explore new data. Yeah, what else? Okay, so quantitative approach is an approach where you are exploring new informations. Okay, you are exploring new informations. So let's look at this. So there are still people coming in. Give me one moment. To admit your friend. Okay, so let's continue. One more. Okay, so qualitative approach is an approach where you use to explore. Okay, we call it exploratory research. That means you do from exploring something potentials to be new, okay, new data. So such as interview, right? Such as lab test, okay? Because you're using lab test to identify new things, right? Okay, so these are the two qualitative approach, okay? Where you explore new venture, okay? But you still need to refer back to past researcher literature review. You still need to do a literature review, right? Because you have to read past researcher work. Okay, what are the problems that creators? What are the topics that creators that need you to venture into your research here? Okay, so this is qualitative. Although qualitative is a totally new thing, but you still have literature review to venture. Like example, if you plan to reach the moon, then of course you must read what are the factors affecting when you are going out of the ozone layers, right? What are the things you have to consider when you are flying on a space, right? So you have still need to do a literature review, okay? So it doesn't mean that exploratory research is a pure new research. You doesn't need to follow any literature. That is a wrong concept, okay? So this is still important, right? This is still important. Literature review for any approach are important, okay? So we make sure to take note about this, okay? So let's continue. So today we will talk about qualitative, okay? qualitative research or approach, right? And our discussions is how to do it, right? How to do this qualitative research. Okay, so last week we talked about quantitative approach. We talked about the questions and how you set up the questionnaire, right? So today we will talk about how are you going to look into qualitative research approach. So I use reverse engineering methods Okay, I look at the data that you got. Okay, so let's look at this table. Let's look at this table. So this is the data I got from my interview. Okay, this is the data I got from my interview. Okay, so from here, to test your understanding about what I draw, I am asking how many people I interviewed there. 
Okay. How many respondents I interview in this table? Can you identify them? Three. Okay. Who else? Only Yong Zik, Yong Yik Zi know what I'm doing. How about others? How about others? Three. Okay. So I got three respondents. I interviewed three people. All right. So let's look at what I'm asking them. Okay. So I want you to pay attention on what I'm drawing. Someone still come in. Okay. Okay. So I want you to look at here. Okay. And guess what question I asked them. Okay. Okay, can you look at this table? Can you know what are the questions that I ask? What are the first questions that I ask? This is the first table. Okay, so what are the first questions I ask? Anyone, can you guess? Guys, can you guess what are the questions that what 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 is this table should be? What I ask. Type of recycle method. Yes, correct. I'm asking type of recycle method, right? Okay, can you see this? I already draw this earlier, right? Recycle method, right? Type of recycle method I use, okay? Exactly. So this table shall be type of recycle method, right? Type of recycle methods, exactly, good. Okay, Connie, thank you. Okay. Yigzi, correct, okay? Izzat Azman, correct. Okay, type of recycle method. Well done. Okay, so now I'm asking what are the type of recycle methods? Okay, so next. Okay, see. Can you tell me, respondent one, use which type of recycle method from my interview? Can you tell me respondent one use which type of method? First, okay, okay. Can you tell me respondent two use which method? One and two, okay. Ah, why Shu Huan got two and three? Respondent two. 
use which method? Okay, one and two, right? Okay, how about respondent three? Which method respondent three use? Two and three, correct, okay. So now you know how to show your interview questions, answer, right? Okay, okay, wait. Okay, next, next. I want you to observe, okay? Okay, can you tell me what is this? Can you tell me what is this? Okay, opinion, correct. How about others? These are their further elaborations, right? Okay, their further elaborations, okay? So from here, I want you to identify how I set my questions. Okay, how I set my questions. Okay. How this researcher set his interview questions? Okay. Need participant at waiting room. Okay. So, how do I set my questions? How many questions I have? Okay. Okay. So, this is the answer. Q1. Which recycle methods you use? Okay, which recycle method you use? Okay. My second question. I ask. Okay. Q one A. Okay, I ask. Which uh, Q one A, I ask which method you prefer the most okay no 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 this one will confuse you give you easier elaborations okay in term of course okay Please share your opinion. Okay. Okay. 
question one C, one B. Please compare why you venture into new method. Okay. Question one C. Questions one D. Okay. Okay. So this is the questions I ask. Okay, I want you to observe. Okay, do you notice? Okay, before I ask this, can you tell me how many questions I asked here? Can you tell me how many questions I asked here? Look at the blue words. Can you tell me how many questions I asked here? One. How many question marks I have? Five. Okay. So I got five questions. Okay. I am asking five questions marks. All right. I asked five questions. Okay. So although I'm asking five questions, okay, but all these five questions is for one problem, okay? All these five questions are for one problem. The problem is this, type of recycle methods, okay? For one particular issue, what are the type of recycle methods? So I ask, what are the methods they use? This is the keywords. I ask in terms of cost, how do you express further, right? So this is the second keywords. And I want them to compare, okay, the method, okay? Compare the methods. So this is the third keywords. And I ask further, I ask further, okay? So you see from here, only got one problem, one issue. I started my questions, five different questions. Methods, cost, compare, opinion, and so on and so forth. Okay, so from here, you will see this is getting in more detail. Go to even more detail. Go to even more detail. Okay, and so on. Okay, I never go to question two yet. Right? I haven't go to question two yet. I'm still at question one. Okay, so from here, this is the answers that you ask for the easiest questions. Okay, which method they use? Okay, which method they use? Which method they use? Okay, and these are the elaborations for the second questions, third questions, okay? They are opinions, like what your friend say just now, opinion-based questions, so I write here, all right? So these are question two, question three, okay? Opinion-based questions. From here, of course, there are more information you can draw from here, okay? Not only after I ask, I will draw something very interesting from this table. Can you tell me? Okay. Okay. Make it easier. Make it easier to be a standard layman term. Okay. To be a standard layman term. All of us agree this. Okay. This is level one data. Okay. Level one data means that the easiest data you get which method you use okay level one data this is level two data okay means that it go more deeper okay okay can you tell me what is this data
level one data. Okay. Okay, level one data. Can you tell me what is this data? Level two, right? Because it's somehow deeper, right? Okay, level two data. Okay, my questions. Are you guys clear about these definitions? Level one data and level two data? before I go to level three. Can you tell me, do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Level one data, level two data, before I go to level three. If you are clear, please reply clear. Okay, huh? clear. Huh? Okay, let's look at this table. I want you to draw what are the level three data. You can see any pattern? What are the level three data? Manjun, what data you can draw from this table as a level three data? I want information, right? This is the information where which method they choose. This is level one. This is their opinion, right? This method cheaper, still level two, right? Because you ask only, you will get the answer. Okay, so method cheaper, you ask, then you get the answer, still level two. Level three data is the data you see at this table, okay? And you get a pattern from this table. There is a pattern where all the respondent didn't answer you, but you read at this table, you look at it, you see pattern. What are the pattern you see? That is a level three data. Most preferred method, this is level two, because you ask, you get. Level three data is the data that you look at the table, there's a pattern from the table, then you draw from the table the information. Okay, somehow start to get the idea, right? Some of you say comparison. Some of you say most preferred method. Some of you say out three more expensive than out two. Okay, and commonly used method. So you get the idea. Okay, so level three data from this table. Okay, what we can see is actually you will notice. Okay, you will notice. Actually, this method is the starter pack method okay for a people going to do a recycle this is the first method everyone start with this okay and this method is high technology method whereby new company like respondent one new company started they won't go to level three uh, recycle method three Okay, so you can conclude this is a sophisticated method. Okay, more sophisticated method. Okay, it may need more cost. Okay, it may need more technology. Okay, it may need more manpower. Okay, from this method. So this is the level three data you see. You see a pattern. When you start, you start with recycle method two. When you are big enough, your company become very big, you venture into method three. 
Okay, okay, right, right. So if you ask more questions, if I ask a more detailed questions, like why don't you use method one? Okay, I ask respondent three, why don't you use method one? So you will get a more detailed information from it, right? Because from here, we didn't ask, that's why you are unknown. Why respondent three don't use method one? Right or not, this is unknown. Okay, level three data missing for, for you not to ask respondent three. But from here, you will notice that this is a pattern. You look at this, here, it is a pattern. Okay, they are going down this way, right? And this is the starting method, okay? And this is the most sophisticated method. And you will clearly see respondent tree company are bigger. Later when you ask about the company size, right? You will notice respondent tree, the company are bigger. This is a new company maybe, right? So this is the data that you draw from a table, the pattern, okay? We call it level three data, okay? Level three data is just between you and me, eh? okay? Between you and me, our layman term of discussions, okay? Okay, don't write it in your, don't write it in your literature review. Your supervisor don't know what is level one data. They don't know what is level two data and level three data, okay? It's between you and me only. Okay, so R2 and R1 is the starting method. Yes, correct. Okay, so this is the info you got. R1 and R2 is the starting method. Okay, so these are the level 3 data you got. Okay, so level 3 data is the data you get you uh, you get from the table, okay? After analyzing the pattern of the table. Okay, so please take this message, okay? Take this message as what is level three data? Okay, is the data you get from the table after you analyze the pattern of the table. Okay, so from here, you will notice you have to do coding. When you read interview questions, they will do coding. Coding means they will code. If they got talk about cost, they put a they put a code for it. Example like this. When you talk about cost, okay, this is start. You could start, okay? You could start, you search for starts. This, you code about, uh, you, you code them for cheaper costs, for cost, okay? So people talk about coding means that they are doing a table, okay? They are doing table for type, okay? They code it under type. They put another table for cost, okay? They put another table for uh, technologies, sophisticated installations, okay? So they code different, different coding for the words that people talk, then they create many, many tables, okay? So you will notice here, I'm only asking the first questions, Q1 only, okay? I just asked the first questions. I already can go until so deep, okay? You have to end all this until no more questions before you go to questions, Two, okay, you must be cover everything before you go to questions two. Don't do a mistake like what I did here. I miss out asking respondent three, why don't you use method one? Correct or not? I miss out this. Okay, don't do this mistake. Okay, because if you ask very little, you go to question two, okay, for your next objective, then you are in trouble. Okay. So everyone clear about this? So this is how you set your interview questions. Okay, this is how you set your interview question. Everyone clear about this before I go to the next thing for discussions?
Clear? Okay. If clear, we got two minutes break. I will come back in two minutes. Okay. I want you to digest this, make it clear. Then we will come back in two minutes. Okay. Okay, so for those who want to screenshot this, please do so. Okay, I will erase this in 30 second time. Okay. Okay, before we proceed, there's a question for you. Okay, I want to understand who are the people doing this approach, okay? Anyone do case study approach? Anyone do case study approach? Case study, case study, not interview, case study. Anyone? Anyone do experimental like uh, like data logging? Okay, let me share with you what your, your senior did. Okay, while well, before we go into detailed discussions, okay, let me show you what your senior did. Okay, your senior did uh, case studies. Okay, case study is not interview, it's not questionnaire, but it is a case study. Okay, sorry for the slow file. Okay, one moment. Why so slow? One moment. Okay. So what your senior did is, is a case study strategies. Okay. What she do, let me show you. 
she do a uh, weather stations. Okay, we put it in your campus. So this is the stations she got. All right. Okay, it's a lux meter. And this is a radiation reader, right? And this is the setup and installations of the sensor. Okay, she's setting up the sensor. And this is where she put, okay, to identify the weather in Taylor's campus. Okay. And this is where she put on the usable space, okay, in the usable space. Okay, the space she put, right? Okay. So these are the all, all places that she put to identify the, the locations performance, okay? So this is called as case studies, okay? This is called as case study. So anyone using case study approach, Okay, what data are you use for your case studies? Is it interview or is it, is it by studying on the data review of the organizations? Can you share with me so that I can know what, what qualitative method you are using? so that I can look into detail, which are the things that we have to focus on. Wan Jing. Interview put aside, okay? Interview put aside. How about others? Anyone do like observations for a month at site? Like, Wanji, beam based QTO. Okay, how are you going to get your data? How are you going to get your data, Wanji? Okay, so that is a case study. Okay, correct. So you will get from residential project, right? So you compare all the informations from the from the software. Okay, I believe that is the method you are using. Okay, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Okay, if I'm wrong, I guess wrongly, please let me know. So this is method of Anjing. Okay, potassium interview. Okay, Connie, which method you use? Interview, okay, good. Interview put aside, okay? Because interview, I already explained just now, right? How about Aisha Asenji? Which case study method you use? Interview, okay, thank you. How about Yi Xin? Interview, okay, cool. So we got one special case study method, which is by one Jing only. All others interview, okay? So cool. So for detail one, like the special one, like what I show you just now, okay? The weather stations, that is called as a case study by using a census, okay? By using a census. So there are some students using case study by studying on the data. Okay, by studying on the data produced by BIN's program. Okay, there are some students using case study by using interview. Okay, so different methods. Huh? So interview methods, I already show you. Okay, questionnaire method, I already show you. These are the two common methods our students use, right? So I already show you. So now, let's go into second part of the discussions. Okay, second part of the discussion. Second part I mentioned in your Facebook, I will discuss with you about the Excel factor you found, right? The factor you found, okay. So now, don't bother about qualitative approach anymore, okay? 
Questionnaire people, please pay attention also. Right? Questionnaire people, also pay attention. I ask all of you, no matter which method you use, I ask you to find the factors, put into your Excel file. Okay? And I want you to put like this. Wait. There yeah, are people in the waiting room. Okay, I ask you to put like this, right? Source, okay, factors, okay, this is your factors one, this is your factor two, this is your third factor, okay, and I ask you to write where you get this factor one from. Okay, maybe from Chong, another another respond, uh, another researcher. Okay, and factor two, where you get it from? Okay, same goes to this. Okay, have you guys did this? Have you guys did this? Can you tell me? Have you guys did this? If you guys did this, hello. Have you guys did this factor? Put in your Excel file. For those who did, can you please reply to the group chat? You did that. If you haven't did, then I won't explain. Because no point explaining if you didn't do that. Okay. Have you did this? You will feel weird. Why my lecturer asked me to do this, right? Okay. Have you do this? List down all the factors. Okay. Now I will tell you why. Right? I will tell you why. Okay. Let me share a screen why I ask you to do this. I want you to do this. Okay, because later in your chapter three, later in your chapter three, and now you are doing chapter one and two, right? Literature review is chapter two. After literature review is chapter three, methodology. So I want you to do this because in this section 3.5, you will do design of question and you will do design of your interview questions. Okay. You do all this, design of your question and design of your interview questions. So let's look at what and where you put that table. Okay. You put the table here. Section A of your question and. Okay. These are the factors. Section B of the table. These are the factors. Okay. So look at here. Factor affect high-rise residential price of Sunway. Okay, so this is the factor for objective one. So I ask you to write here all the factors, list down all the factors. Okay, okay, and these are the source. The reason why is later you will put these factors table in your design of question air in chapter three, like this. Okay, so this is why I ask you to do it. Okay, near to public transport, near to school, near to hospital, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is the second construct. Okay, this is the first construct. Okay, 
and this is the third construct and this is the fourth construct okay each construct got one two three four okay at least three to four items okay the more the better okay cannot one construct one item cannot you must have two three and four items okay so these are the reason why I asked you to do that. Okay, so let's go back to the table, the Excel table. Okay. Let's go back to the Excel table. So I asked you to do this. I asked you to do this. Can you guys see my Excel, uh, my, my, my whiteboard? Can you guys see my whiteboard? Okay, so I'll ask you to do this. Reason is like this. Okay, reason is like this. Let's write the factors. Okay. For those, okay, for those who are where's the chat? One moment. For those who are not my students, okay? I want any one of you give me your objective, okay? Give me your objective, okay? Anyone? Anyone? For those who are... One moment, let me admit your friend. Okay. For those who are not my students, I need one of you, volunteer yourself, give me an objective. Anyone? I repeat my offer, okay? It's not my request, it's my offer. Okay, good. Lucky Ivan reply. Okay, emotion experienced by parties in dispute. Okay. Can you write in more detail your objective? Because objective is started with two, right? So Ivan, can you write in more detail what is your objective? The first one, objective. To identify the emotion experience, can you write in more detail, Ivan? Ivan, can you write in more detail? What is your objective? This is your research question. I want your objective. Objective is started with two, right? To identify the emotions. That may arise during a dispute. Okay. Okay. To identify the emotions. To that may arise during a dispute. Okay, then what are the factors you found, Ivan? Can you name the factor you found? Please name the factor you found. So to be more real, I want you to name it. What are the factors you found? For those, please pay attention in this example, okay? Fear and anger. Okay. 
can you give me second one second factor stress more 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 can you give more anxiety what else give more that's all for now okay cool okay there are four okay there are four okay try to look at what i'm doing okay if you are doing this okay this is student x okay this is student y okay this is student y what student y found huh? let me show you okay if they're doing the same topic okay and let's see what student y found i want i want you to be what i did in student y okay okay do this so you will get more information, very good information, okay? So look at student Y2 factors, okay? Sources, okay? Fear and anger in when dealing with tasks, okay? Work, okay? Jump. Okay. Fear and anger when having family reunion. Okay. So from here, wait, uh, stress when work. Stress when handle child. Okay. Okay. I want you, uh, including Ivan. Okay. I want you to look at this table on the right. Okay. I want you to classify how many fear, how many anger, how many stress, how many anxieties. Okay that you can categorize them from here it affect what type of groups do you notice fear affect two things do you notice stress affect two things okay thanks alex you see four type right okay good how about others how many types you see fear and anger affect a group of things? Four types, okay. How about others? Do you see how many types fear and anger and all other factors affect how many types of group of categorizations? How many groups of people? How many type here? Six, what are those six? Can you share? Okay, from these four, from these six, can you categorize them? How many category you see? From these six, from these four, how many of category you can categorize them? Ivan, good, two, right? Okay, this is the first one, family. Okay, this is the second one, work. Okay, two categorizations. Okay, 
So from here, okay, from here, after you list down all your factors, like what Ivan did, well done, okay, I want you to go to level two, okay, level two. What you should do is read in more detail, then you will see something like this. If you are reading very general, you will see something like this, very general, okay? So read in more detail, you will see a grouping, okay? You will see a grouping. So look at the grouping and find more factors. I ask you to find 20 factors. The reason why I ask you to find 20 factors is I want you to group them later, okay? I want you to group them later, okay? So from these 20 factors, when you list, you will notice there is a pattern, okay? There is a pattern, like I, what I told you just now. So you can group them like this, okay? Let me show you. Okay. Fear on task, okay? Anger when handle more work, okay? Anxiety. Am, am I spelling correctly? Anxiety. What's the spelling for anxiety? Let me see. XIE. Okay. Okay. Anxiety. When due date. Okay. Then anger. When child cry. Okay. I want you to participate. If you don't participate, you cannot know what I'm doing. Okay. Anger when child cry, okay? Anxiety when house loan due, okay? Anxiety when house loan due. Okay, from all this, okay? This, I can categorize them as I1. This is I2. Okay, this is I3. Okay, this is C1, construct one. I call them work related. Okay, work related. Okay, so same go to this. Same go to this. This is my C2. Okay, family related. Okay, this is my C2 family related. So this is my item one, same thing. This is my item two. Okay, so until here everyone clear what I'm doing, I am categorizing the factors that you found, the 20 factors that you found. Okay. I'm categorizing the 20 factors that you found. That's why in the early stage, I ask you to list as many as you can. If you only find a little bit, then you got nothing to elaborate in further. If you find a lot, you will have this elaboration later. Group them into one category, work related. Group them into second category, family related. Okay, two categories. Okay, so now my questions. After you list all this, how are you going to how are you going to put them into your questionnaire or how are you going to put them into your interview? Anyone? Any idea? How are you going to put them into 
your questionnaire. How are you going to put them into your interview? Okay. Now we are going to do that. Okay, we do that together. We are doing them a uh, interview questions. We are doing them a uh, questionnaire. Okay. So let's look at what I do. So this is how we set. Okay. This is how we set. Okay. How are you improving from here to questionnaire to interview, right? So this is how we set. Okay. Okay, how we set it. I do a skill. Okay, I ask a question. Okay. Fear on task. Do you feel fear on task is arise during dispute? Okay, I ask as another question. I ask another question for anger, right? Do you feel anger when handle more work arise during dispute? Okay, I ask the third question for I3. Do you feel anxiety when work due arise during dispute? Okay. Okay. I only do these three because due to space, insufficient space, right? So I only do these three. So I'm converting my factor into question. I'm converting my factor into question. I'm converting my factor into questions. Okay. Okay. So just now I see you guys say using skill, right? Okay. One, two, five. Okay. Can you tell me what is the definition of skill you can write? What is one? What is five? Anyone? Can you please type? Help me. Can you please type? Help me. Anyone? What are the definitions you can uh, you can you can ask? We are not using chart. Okay, we are not using chart. Chart is to present the data you got. Okay, chart is to present the data you got. So chart is from here. Okay, chart is from here to there. Okay, so we are not at that level yet. Okay, chart is at the most right hand side after this arrow. Okay, now we are here. Chart is at here. Okay, so chart we haven't reached it. Okay, chart we haven't reached it. So what are the methods? Uh, what is the definition of skill I can put? Strongly disagree, agree, okay, mean to next, okay, good. Okay, I want all of you, only three questions, eh? I purposely said three questions, only three questions, okay? I want all of you, okay, answer with your heart, okay, answer with your heart. Okay, this is how you answer. Huh? This is how I capture your response. Okay, example question. This is Q1. Okay, let me write it so you understand it. This is Q1. This is Q2. 
Okay, this is Q3. Okay, so we got Q1, Q2, Q3. So this is how you answer me. Q1, four. Q2, five. Okay, Q3, five. This is how you answer me. Okay, so I want all of you answer with your heart Q1, Q2, Q3. And what is your agreement, level of agreement? Example, I already give you in the chat. Look at my chat. Example. Okay, so please answer with your heart. Read properly the questions. Answer with your heart. Okay. okay, so from here, I want you to observe, okay, for those who already did, I want you to observe your friend answer, scroll at the chat, scroll at the chat, look at your friend answer, and look at the answer for each question, okay, look at the answer for each question, I want you to tell me what is the tendency of the answer for each question. What are the average mean tendency of the answer for each question? Okay. okay, I want you to look at here and see whether you agree with it or not. Most of your answer, okay, after you take all, then you get a mean, okay, you'll notice that your mean will fall at here. Okay, you notice that your mean will fall at here. Okay, your mean will fall at here. Okay, your tendency of answer will be fall between three to five, and your mean will be fall at four. Or three point something to four, four point something to five. Okay, your mean will fall around two. Okay, my question is if you get all with the same mean, okay, what are the third level of data you got? Still remember the third level of data that we mentioned just now in the questionnaire, uh, in the in the interview questions. So what are the third level of data you got from here? Level three data. What you can draw from here? Okay, for those who do not pay attention, you don't know what we talk about. Okay, what are the third level data you got from here? Yeah, pattern, but what are the pattern? What are the answers you can draw from here? Yes. Why no one disagree? Correct or not? Why most of them agree? Correct or not? Correct? Okay. Why? Why like this? Why? Huh? Why most of them agree? Why most of your friends agree? Why? Then, 
you got nothing to express in your research finding. You got nothing to express, right? Because all of them are answer at mean four. So when you find your ranking, okay, you see which one are most influencing. You cannot find anything because all the answer are the mean are four, right? So you will notice all mean are four. This is important. This also important. This also important. Then how you conclude? How you conclude? If you get this info, this is important because they got four mean. This also important. This also important. So now my question is how we conclude this? Can we conclude this? Okay. Okay. What's going wrong here? What's going wrong here? Why I'm setting like this? My teacher teach me to do a factor, okay, to convert all the factor to a question here, to convert all the factor to a question here, but I'm still getting the same mean that which make me cannot see which is the nice pattern, okay, where my level three data got no pattern or are level four, no pattern, I cannot analyze. So what happened actually? to these actions. What happened actually to this survey? What happened? My teacher teach me do like this. I already follow like this, but why? All yet still fall, why? Any idea? Let's discuss. Why no one disagree? Then how are you going to analyze? All are important. Question one, important? Yes, important. Question two, important? Yes, important. Question three, important? Yes, important. All of them are affecting the emotions. Okay, very important. Affect emotion. Then how are you going to analyze? Anyone? Anyone? Do you feel your answer four at three or four are interesting? Okay. Do you feel that if we get all this pattern like this, the answer is interesting? Outliers are the data that you kick and delete it. Okay? No use. Okay? Outliers are the data that you kick and delete it. Okay? The data that you don't want to use it. Okay? Survey from other population, same, because your question are set like this. You ask 10 people, you ask 100 people, you ask 1,000 people, the pattern are the same. The pattern are still fall at all with same mean. Okay, why? What is the problem? Is it teacher teach me wrongly? Or what happened here? How to create, how to create all this that you get the info very correctly. Correct, Yisin. Question is not specific enough. This is the answer. Okay. Question is not specific enough because this is a general factor where everyone agree. Correct or not? This is the factor every one of you agree. You ask 100 people, all of them also same pattern. You ask 1,000 people, everyone also same pattern because this is a general question. Okay? So, the answer to solve this problem, okay, to solve these problems is to specific. Okay? Is to be specific. Okay? Be specific. Okay? Be specific. Okay, can I take erase this part, the right hand side part? I make a specific question for you. Can I? Do you want to screenshot it before I go to the specific questions? Can? Can? Okay. Can I? Okay, be specific. Okay, this is the keywords. Can I can I can I uh, delete it? Can I proceed to make it more specific? Okay. 
be more specific. How to be specific, okay? Let's look at it. So from here, as a researcher, okay, from moving from this part, okay, moving from this part to this part, Okay, you need to use your brain to identify the important info, not to create. Do you feel fear? Do you feel anger? Very general without thinking that you will fail your survey. Okay, so you must think how to be so specific enough to get the data you want in a variety of answers. Okay, so let me show you. Okay. You cannot just simply convert. Do you feel fear without putting your heart into your survey? Then you will face something like this just now. Okay, you will face something like this in your survey answer later. Okay, you will feel something like this later. Okay, so let's to be more specific. Okay. Okay, the first thing, okay, fear on task. You need to create a question, okay? If you, okay, are to owe, okay, dispute, if you are to have dispute of 500k, Okay, for your organizations on your one million ringgit project. Okay, do you feel fear? Okay, do you feel fear when? Handle it. Okay, my questions. My questions are, can anyone tell me these questions, specific questions, how many dispute, how many percent dispute happened for this project? I want to understand your level of understanding. How many percent of dispute happened in this $1 million project? How many percent? How many percent? Guys, I want you to participate. If you don't participate, we cannot proceed. Okay, 50%, correct? 50%, okay, 50%. So why I set a 50% dispute? Okay, why I set a 50%? Because from my literature review, I read before, when you reach 50%, everyone go haywire already. Okay, everyone stress until one to commit suicide already. Okay, so this is from literature review. So from literature review, I create an emotions example. Okay, I create an emotion example by referring to literature review. They say 50%, everyone gone crazy already. Okay, so this is the example. Okay of a situation that I mimic, I do one example for the respondent, okay? So from here, okay, I created according to what I read from psychologist reference, a uh, psychologist literature, they mentioned when you reach 50% of dispute of your project, you cannot proceed because normally people use 30% of the money to roll a business. Everyone know this? I believe all of you know this, right? 
if you got $1 million project, you need $300,000 to roll the business, right? Correct? Contractors. Everyone know this? If you don't know, then today you got the idea. Okay? If you got $1 million projects, normally people need a cash of 300 k to start the, jo the job. Okay? Because still remember your preliminary, when you do your preliminary, your, your costing, Okay, you need some early expenses cost, right? So you need around 30%. Now you got 50 dispute, 50% already. So it's exceed the money you have already. So that's why it can make you gone crazy already. Okay, so these are the example that I created. Okay, so when I ask people one to five, a very powerful in finance or a very powerful in gamble, okay, a very strong emotion people, they will say not agree, correct? They will tend to say not agree. And a very general people, normal people, okay, or organizations that smaller organizations, they don't have a cost, uh, they don't have cash flow to run this dispute and they will have highly agree with this. Okay, so you will see a pattern. When people answer here, okay, you will notice, oh, these people got more financial to support the back project. Oh, these people have better mental stress, uh, mental psychologists to overcome this stress. Okay, so this is the answer. You can have two different type of group of people. Okay, those who answer this, you will notice from their respondent profile, oh, this, those who answer this, okay, they got better finance background. Okay, or those who answer this, they got better backup. Okay, or those who answer this, they got better psychologists. Okay, better mental strength. Okay, so those who answer this, you will find they got all this better. Okay, how to get this? You ask in your section A. Okay, respondent background, respondent profile. Okay, you ask in your section A. So from here, you will notice I be very specific already. I will get two different answers. Okay, the tendencies of answer will go left if they got better finance, they got better backup, they got better mental stress, better be better mental strength. For those who answer, uh, those on my right, four five three four five. They got lesser finance background, they got lesser backup, they got lesser mental strength. Okay, so if you give a scenario based questions, you will get this kind of response. Okay, everyone clear until here? If not clear, I repeat. Everyone clear until here? So Ivan, okay. So you must be very specific to get all your factors. For those who already list down 20 over factors, group them into category. Okay, for those who already get a list of factors, group them into category. Group them into category. Okay, after you group them into category, create a questions where it is very specific like this. So you will get a different type of answer. Okay. Clear? Clear? So from here, this is your task. Okay. This is your task. Look at my pen. <coughs> okay. This is your task. To from these factors to your questionnaire, okay? This is where you tested, 
Okay, this is where you tested. Okay, to your questionnaire, to your questionnaire, to your interview question. Okay, so when you set this interview questions, okay, that is where you are tested. Okay, if you are not specific enough, I already told you what is the outcome. Okay, for those who are still not getting these factors in a proper list, I already told you what will happen, right? Because you don't have the factors, you cannot create all these questions here. Okay, so this is the way you are being tested, how well you create these specific questions. Okay, and how are you going to differentiate different kind of respondent? Okay. Okay, so for a student that cannot differentiate all this, it means that you are not doing well from this point to this point. Okay, you are not doing well from this point to this point. Okay, so make it clear when you set up your question, same go to interview. Just now I'd be very specific, right? I'm asking question 1A, 1B, 1C. I haven't go to question 2 because I need to be very specific so that my table can be draw, correct? If I'm not specific, I will miss my information. Okay, so this is what you need to do for today. Only two things, okay? Only two things. One is interview uh, slides. The second one is these slides. So only two slides. So I want you to make understand, make sure you understand this. Okay, we are done for today. So Q&A session start now. Okay, Q&A sessions. I give you two minutes to prepare what you need to prepare to ask me. Okay, I give you two minutes for you to ask me. Clear? And we will start our questions at 9.00. Okay, we will start our Q&A sessions at 9.40 a.m. Okay, so see you in two minutes time.
Okay. So, 9.40. We are back. Now, your turn to talk. Guys, question from your side. Okay, interview has to be verbal or texting the person is not. Okay, it's depend on you. No specific matters can get uh, interview done, which is wrong or right, no. Okay, anyway will be fine. But if you are verbal, then you can go very deep in your question. You can ask question 1A, 1B, 1C, 1B, and so on, because you ask them to elaborate. Okay, if you ask texting, then you will face this restrictions right you have this restriction try to imagine you keep on testing them and only for question one haven't go to question two that will have some restriction people will feel why you are so uh ask so many questions okay so this is the difference between verbal and texting okay so that's why people say interview normally they will have verbal because they are going deep on the information, they're digging the information from the respondents, okay? Like what I did just now, question one, I got five questions. Haven't go to question two, okay? Uh, so I got okay. other questions for interview. So for interview, right, I will, my plan is to recording the video. So uh, is it the video we need to submit for our final year project or we just no. write out? No, we just write out. For the yes, you have answer. to quote them out what are the info that you got. That's why coding are mentioned just now. Coding means you have to quote how many times this guy mentions about stress. How many times this guy mentions about this cost. So you have to quote them and from there, you, you digest. People call it as a digestion of data. You digest them you make them into a, a code before that, after that, sorry, after that, you make them into table. The next one, you make them into table. So you will notice a raw info that the guy keep on talking for 30 minutes, you digest them into code. How many times they say stress? How many times they say this money? How many times they say this method? Okay, you code them into different categories. So from there, you define again you digest again, you create the table that I show you just now. Okay, so the last part, the digested last part is the table that you show in your chapter four. Okay, other info that you got all put in your appendix. But the thing is you record with a video, you cannot put in your appendix. So you have to, from video, digest furthermore to, code, uh, to the info, digest furthermore to coding, digest furthermore to the table. Okay, so you've got more raw data and go into depth, in depth, then you get the table. So do we need to uh, send the video to our supervisor to let them no need, right? Okay. okay, but if your supervisor asks, then you have to show. Because everyone will need to see the raw data for proof if needed. Okay. Next questions. Next questions. If you do verbal interview, Okay, if you do verbal interview, if you are recording them so that you got the info to capture later, if you don't record them, okay, if you don't record them, then if you miss up some info, then that is the disadvantage. Okay, of course you do record is the best. Okay, I didn't say you must record, but of course you do record is the best. That's why I'm doing recording for you. If I just stop the recording, I'm not making any false also. 
for my lecture. Am I right? So it's up to you whether what you need to do. Okay, if you can memorize everything, then no need record. Okay, so let me show you how your friend digests this info. Okay, so in chapter four, okay, what she did is she are doing block E2 reading taken during field work. Okay, so this is the wind speed, right? The purple one is the wind speed. This is the time, right? And this is the solar radiations, right? And this is the outdoor temperature. Okay, the orange one, the dark orange one is the outdoor temperature. And that is the blue one is the outdoor humidity. So you will notice a pattern here. The humidity getting hot, uh, lesser and lesser. Okay, in the afternoon. Okay, the temperature getting higher and higher. Okay, from morning to the afternoon. Right, the wind is not constant. Keep on, got wind, no wind, got wind, no wind. Okay, and the solar radiations, okay, pattern look like this. You notice that the radiation pattern the highest at the afternoon. So from this is the info that your friend digested. So let's look at the raw data, how the raw data look like. Okay, this is the raw data. Look at the appendix. Okay, the appendix. This is the raw data. You see, every five minutes, she got humidity, she got temperature, she got outdoor humidity, she got outdoor temperature, right? So let's look at it. How many data she got? This is the raw data. Okay, second page, third page, fourth page. Okay, this is the wind. This is for wind. Okay, so you see how many raw data she got. Okay, this is for second day. So these are all the raw data that I mentioned just now that I show here, the raw data from your video. So from your video, it's look like this. Okay, the raw data from here. So from here, how are you going to convert here? You have to digest it. Okay, how are you going to convert here? You have to digest it. So from your video, you digest it, create the table that I showed just now. Okay, so only you put in your chapter four. Okay, so this is called as digestion of data. Okay. So verbal interview needed to be recorded. So one of my objectives is to understand the extent of FM consideration being integrated during design stage. Team management, okay. Of hospitality building. So for this factor would be integrated still in, still at infancy stage. What is your question, Yisin? You're asking whether your objective do right or wrong. Am I, am I get you right? What, what is your question, Yisin? You're asking whether your objective do set up correctly or, or what? How do you tabulate the factors in Excel? Very easy. When you read your literature review, you will notice what are the considerations. Okay, what are the considerations to be put in design stage for FM? Okay, when you read, you will know. Okay, when you read, you will know. Like example. Okay, I will put one example. Uh, let's see whether he or she is here. The students that I asked you to show the example, where are you, my students? I asked permission to show, right, that day. So where are you? Can you raise your hand, don't waste time.
Let me check your name. Ivan, what is your topic again, Ivan? Ivan, what is your topic? Your topic of, uh, your title, your research title. Okay, Gan Lian Wei. Gan Lian Wei, are you here? Gan Lian Wei. Gan Lian Wei, are you here? How about Niu Sen Chao? Okay, Chao Manjun. Can you share your screen? Okay, can you share your screen? Share what other factor you found. Chao Manjun. Manjun. I already make you co-host. And share your screen. What are the factor you found? Okay, so. For Yi Xin, you see, this is the factor our friend found. Okay, lack of relevant work, competition are high. So you see from here, you read slowly each of the sentence. You will notice these are the challenges faced by a fresh crack. Okay, so from your problems, there is no such thing that you don't know what are the factors you found. Okay. Because when you read your literature review, you will know FM integrations, you will know uh, what, are the, what are the integrations factor that people consider. Okay, maybe because of cost, maybe because of financials related, maybe because of HR related, maybe because of government policy, maybe because of any external factors, right? Okay, so these are all the factors okay i already list out all these construct for you right okay so there is no reason for us you cannot find the items okay if you cannot find an item that means there is no way to do your research 
okay? There is no way to do your research when you cannot find your factors. Means that other people also didn't do this topic, okay? My objective one is to study performance management system, PMS, of SE management in Malaysia. Data collections to ask me, interviewee, if they're aware of PMS. Okay, in FM. It seems no factor for me to list down for this objective. Who say no? There are PMS. Okay, there are implementations of your study performance. If you got nothing to write for your literature review, that means something wrong, okay? Then if there's nothing for you to write for interview, that means something wrong, okay? okay? To study performance management system, do you know that there are other performance management systems? So list down other performance management system and Compare the difference between all the system before you go and ask people. Try to imagine you make appointment, you go there, you ask, do you use PMS? The answer is no. Then what you do? Thank you, bye-bye, close the call. No, right? So you will compare the difference between PMS with other system. So the thing is, you must understand the holistic system before you go. If you go, if you don't understand the holistic system, then you say, hello, do you know any PMS? Uh, do you apply PMS system? They say, no, we are applying other system. Then what you do? Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, bye. So this won't happen. Okay? okay? So don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. If you are lazy, your reflection will reflect to your supervisor. So PMS system, there are other systems. So compare and contrast other systems before you go and ask people. Okay? People won't educate you and tell you, okay, other than PMS system, you got this system, okay? So what is this system? They will explain, no, they won't entertain you that way, okay? Okay, so this is all about your research. And if you don't understand the holistic system, then you got nothing to write in your literature review. That means something wrong with your methods, okay? Okay, no straightforward questions. There is a generic holistic questions that you have to develop your framework. Okay, like my friend, my students did. Okay, uh, to identify challenge by fresh get. Then, oh, no, no, no literature review. There's no such thing as that. Okay, so make sure you understand the holistic system. Okay. Okay. So for those who didn't find the factor, who didn't list the factor, okay, my intention asks you to write the factor is I want you to read. For those who didn't find the factor, who didn't list the factor, you are missing one step. Okay, for those who already done this, they are further one step because they already read a lot. They already know the holistic idea of the topic. Okay, so you are still at one point where you don't understand others. Like example, huh? like example, when I want to do my dissertations in, in my degree, I want to understand the application of roof. Do you know Sunway Lagoon? Okay, there is a thatch roof. They got a thatch roof. In Sunway Lagoon, there is a thatch roof, like atap, okay, a thatch roof. But the thatch roof is different from Malaysia atap. They are brought in from Vietnam. So my intention is to understand the thatch roof, whether how good is it in terms of thermal, in terms of water penetration, in terms of lasting, whether it can last or not. So these are the three things I want to know. Okay, but if I purely go and test and I didn't like write my literature review, this is not called as an academic research. This is called as a Product research. I want to see applications, product application research. 
So now you are in an academic. How I'm going to apply a product research to an academic writing research? So what I should do? I should understand thermal performance. Okay, thermal performance of all roofing system. I must understand water penetrations. The second construct, ah, huh? second construct water penetrations of all roofing system. I must understand heat penetration. Uh, the third one, uh, lasting. I must understand lifespan of materials. Okay, lifespan of materials. So you notice, I read a lot before I can write. If I purely want to focus in product research, I go and test. I use thermal, I use sun and test, then I get the answer. Okay, but the thing is, I cannot do my dissertations. Correct or not? Okay, so this is very important. Huh? This is very important. Okay, so make it more holistic. Okay, get my example that I show you. I want to understand the roof, but I cannot write my dissertation. Then what should I do? Understand these three factors, thermal performance, understand all roof, understand water penetration, not only Vietnam roof, Malaysia roof, also understand it. Okay, understand all roofing system. Last thing, the lifespan of material, understand all roof material. Okay, I got more X and Y, all construct, I understand. So from here, I can write my literature review and from chapter Two, I done, I proceed for my chapter three, I do a lab test. Okay, I do a lab test. So I do a lab test, I see whether water penetrations, I see whether sun uh, heat penetrations according to British standards. Okay, so this is how I link academic and application research. Okay, so I'm answering corny questions. You are at application research, now you have to link to academic research. So what you should do, read more, like what I do just now for my roof, okay? So next. Same thing, uh, Ivan. Uh, same thing. Integrations of infancy stage FM, same thing. You didn't read enough. This is my comment. You didn't read enough. You didn't understand the uh, holistic FM system, or you didn't understand the holistic design stage system. Okay, that's why you didn't get the factors. Okay. So my example for the roof, very clear. Huh? I keep on speaking about roof for around five minutes. So very clear. I want to understand a roof only. Sir, I only want to understand roof. I cannot find any factors. Can, that is a product research. So now we are at academic research. How do we link them? Okay, for those who miss this, replay my sessions, okay? I don't want to repeat it. So replay my sessions. How I link my roof to academic, okay? Okay, next. So you will notice, for you guys, you will notice very easy. I want to know this only, okay? For practical product research. I want to know this only, okay? That is the problem. That is the reason you cannot write your literature review. So make it bigger, okay? Make it bigger and understand bigger the entire system. Then you can write it by breaking down into this one, okay? So thank you. Uh, can you scroll down uh, the slide? Scroll down. So you see what our friend found for objective two. So he found all the factors. Okay, develop new skill and so on. So from here, you can guess what is his second objective. Even you didn't see. But when you read this, you can guess what is his second objective, right? So what is your second objective? Okay. Sorry, third objective. To suggest solution. Okay. Even though you want to suggest a solution, you still need to find the solution available in the market. If not, how are you going to interview people? 
right? So you must know before you ask, okay? So develop a new skill and so on. But remember always, uh, thanks for the slide. Remember always you have to digest it, create a specific question. Okay, specific questions I already show my students, my group of students, and I also already show all of you here. Okay, that is very important. Be specific. If not, you will get all answer at five. Okay, everyone agree. Okay. So this is for interview and questionnaire. Any other questions that you want to discuss? Always remember my example. This example is true life example. When I did my degree, I also faced same thing like you. Okay. I want to do practical research only. I cannot find any other factors already. Okay. okay that is a wrong thing. Okay. For those who miss up that example, you can replay. Okay. Replay it. Okay, good. Heng Song Jack. If your second and third objective, sorry, your third objective is to find the comparison between second and the first one. Okay, so the third one, you got no factors. Okay, you got no factors. You are right. Okay, you find the second and the third one, the relationship, sorry, the first and the second one, the relationship, the third objective, got no factors because you are referring back to the second and the first one. Okay, so. But relationship testing, uh, Mr. Heng, my recommendation is you do a regressions or correlations. Okay, regressions or correlations. Read on this, regressions and correlation analysis, how you analyze them. Okay, so read on this. Next. Next. Shiente, what happened to her? Why always? Always rejoining. Something wrong with her line. Next, next, next. We always done, almost done. Any other questions? Okay. So I just give you some clue, huh? Okay. I just give you some clue. I'm not your examiners, right? Your supervisor is your examiners, right? Okay. So I just give you some clue. How can I stop 